Understanding products with fractions, item 4237. Marcus said the product of 7 eighths times 1 and 3 fourths is 9 fourths. How can you tell that his answer is wrong? All right. So Marcus is wrong. Can't say that he's right. He's wrong. It's not 9 fourths. Now, we don't even need to find the answer. We just have to explain how we know for sure he's wrong. So remember, when you multiply a number times 1, you get that same number. But if you multiply a number times something less than 1, you get less than the number you started with. So Marcus is multiplying 7 eighths times 1 and 3 fourths, and he's getting 9 fourths. So when I look at these, I see 7 eighths, and I think, well, 7 eighths, that's almost 1, but it's less than 1. 1 and 3 fourths, well, how does that compare with 9 fourths? Well, one whole is 4 fourths. And then there's also 3 fourths here. So 1 and 3 fourths is 7 fourths. Now, wait a minute. If you multiplied 1 times 7 fourths, you'd get 7 fourths. But Marcus is multiplying a number less than 1 times 7 fourths, and he's getting more than 7 fourths? That can't be right. If he is going to multiply a number less than 1 times 7 fourths, he should be getting less than 7 fourths. Now remember, in when you're dealing with fractions and you see the multiplication symbol, you can replace it with the word of and it makes sense. So the answer must be less than 7 eighths. Well, that's not true because we're multiplying 7 eighths times a number greater than 1. 7 eighths of a number cannot be greater than the number. That's what's going on here. 7 eighths of 7 fourths cannot be 9 fourths. You are correct. A part of something is less than the whole thing. When you take 7 eighths of a number, you get less than the number. The large rectangle had 40 squares, and 7 eighths are shaded. This shaded section has less than 40 squares.